Oh, hey, hi. I'm Crazy Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do at home. Believe it or not, I am laying above a solid metal core, and oh yeah, I'm going over today's science file. In today's science file, it says... How do we know the Earth has a core? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need a bowl, some water, and a bottle cap. Okay, so this is a good question because nobody has ever seen the center of the Earth. And how can you say there is something that nobody's ever seen? You, you know, unless you're Christian. Blah, blah, unlike them, I'm gonna actually show you 100% proof that the Earth definitely has a core, even though nobody's ever seen it. So, start by getting yourself one of these round bowls. Why round? Because the earth is round. Okay, so next you're going to get yourself one of these three liter bottles of water. Oh, and by the way, you're not only going to use the water, you're going to actually use the cap. So hold on to the cap. <laughs> I really need to start working out. Okay, start by pouring your water into your bowl. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and make an earthquake on one side of the bowl. Yeah, an earthquake. Okay, get that bottle cap, and you're gonna place the bottle cap in the center of your bowl. Kind of like this. Okay, so now I'm gonna make another earthquake. Oh, okay, so how, what does this have to do with the fact that we know there's a core in the center of the Earth, even though no one has ever seen one? And. What other evidence is there that there's a core at the center of our Earth? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. Scientists know the Earth has a solid core because they have observed earthquakes and their effects here on Earth. When an earthquake happens on one side of the Earth, the waves that travel through the mantle get blocked by something solid. If the Earth didn't have something solid in its center, the waves would travel straight through the mantle to the other side of the Earth, and they would feel the earthquake there. Radiation from the sun interacts with a magnetic field surrounding the Earth. This means the Earth's core is made of iron, as well as nickel and a small amount of cobalt. We also know the temperature of the core is 6,000 degrees Celsius. By measuring the temperature of iron put under the same amounts of pressure as the Earth's core is at the center of the Earth. We can tell how big the Earth's core is by measuring the density of the planet. We know how dense the Earth's crust is, and we know how dense magma is. So the leftover density would make up the 6,350 kilometer wide double core. We know there is a double core from measuring the seismic energy bouncing off the inner solid core, and the leftover calculations of the full density of the Earth would make up the outer core. By studying earthquakes, magnetics, and density, scientists can be 100% sure there is a core in the center of the Earth without ever observing it directly. So now you know how science proves the unseeable. You know, being able to see that there's an Earth core right at home is why science is so cool.